Welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Welcome to the Pure Energy Healing Academy here in the mountains of Andalusia. Today we're going to talk about good day, bad day. Something that I've just seen. One of the yogis talked about, kind of funny. Um, but I'd like to try and put my mark on the energy of good day, bad day. Try to uh, analyze it a little bit in a spiritual sense, if that's possible. So what is the difference between a good day and a bad day? Well, I guess if somebody hits you over the head with a hammer, that's going to be a pretty bad day. But that's not the kind of days that we're talking about here. We're talking about natural flow of a day where things just seem to be going wrong. Take, for instance, you get in a car and all of a sudden somebody nearly smashes into you or you nearly smash into somebody else. Everything seems so erratic. Everything seems so out of sync. And everything you do that day, you bump into people and things go wrong and little things just don't work out as they should work out as you thought they would work out everything that happens there after that your irritation your knee-jerk reactions everything fuels and becomes almost like a jet engine ready to explode so is that a bad day hmm. well let's put that to one side and let's talk about a good day you wake up in the morning you stretch, your body feels great. You look in the mirror and for the first time you feel mm, not too bad. You pull out your tongue, not that bad at all. It doesn't look uh, as if it's got candida. Hey, things are looking up. Have a nice shower, get out of the shower, get into the car. Wow, all the lights are green. Everything works out perfectly. You're going to work or you're, whatever you're doing that day, everything just seems to flow. Phone rings, right people call you, make you feel good. Um, and you end up meeting somebody for a coffee or a tea, having a nice chat. The phone rings again, uh, some great offer comes in or let's go out, let's do something. And um, the whole day went just so smooth, so lovingly. Bumping into people that you uh, didn't expect, but wow, what a lovely surprise. Um, deciding to take a few moments to do something that you wouldn't normally do through the day and uh, maybe meditate, relax, sit under a tree. You come home and you thought, that was a good day today. So what's the difference between a good day and a bad day? Well, I see life now as a flow. It's a magical energy that I often refer to as finding Nemo when the turtles jumped onto this beautiful stream under the sea and takes them where they need to go and they're just laughing and they're just being taken on this beautiful stream of energy and uh, current. It's beautiful and they all jump off and it's just an amazing feeling. Some people through the day don't have that understanding or connection of jumping onto that stream. And what happens is there is a, a glitch almost in, in the, the fact that they've missed their stop uh, or they didn't get on it at the right time. I know that sounds a bit strange. What do you mean, Mark? It just it was a bad day. Well, I've often turned a bad day into a fantastic day. Now, the guru said on the video that I watched, he said um, a swear word. He said, just go home and rest. And there's truth in that. But I've done both. And being a practitioner over these years, I've learned to understand that there is something called synchronicity and that energy mystical divine energy that you can jump onto and there are moments where that flow isn't the flow that you should be on or i and once we understand that once we understand that maybe okay my sign is that something's not going right at the moment okay so that means that you've got on the wrong stop <laughs> you've got on you've got on the bus at the wrong stop right so get off and start again so i'm going to give you a for instance this is a really powerful thing by the way if you get this it can change your life so there's been many a times that i've been in a car and all of a sudden i realized that i'm not on that timeline i should be on and I've jumped on it on an erratic 
energy. So imagine that timeline is always there and you can jump on that timeline and it's going to cause issue. And then there's another timeline that's just going to help you flow. How do you know the difference? Soon as something happens where you nearly have an accident or something goes wrong, that is the indication, the sign that says, okay, Mark, stop. And often what I would do is pull over and give myself five or 10 minutes of meditation and then go back on my travel again. And I don't think I've ever gone back on the crazy rails after that. I'm back on my smooth path. So it's a little insignificant thing, right? But it can actually change your whole day instantly. So the guru might say, look, it's, all, it's going to be bad all day. Whereas I like to go deeper because it's been my experience that I want to see if this is real and if we can change this or is the guru right? Should we go home and just give up and rest? I have done both. I've done both. But I also found that going home to rest is a lovely thing, but I missed so much that day. So is it, the question you would ask, and I'm sure when we go deeper, is it that the universe is saying go home and rest? There is a possibility. There is, there's so many avenues we can look at here. And did we need to rest that day? Quite possibly we did. But you can at least give this a try, okay? So if somebody's awful to you that day, if somebody says something awful, you bump into somebody and they're nasty, just say, I remember what that guy in them strange t-shirts said. He said, if I have a, an encounter or an issue in that day or something goes wrong, just sit down for five to ten minutes and just breathe, have a coffee, um, do some meditating if you like that. Just, just go into contemplation and just say to yourself, let this moment pass. This moment will pass and I will then be back on my spiritual path or journey or my beautiful like the the little beautiful uh, turtles in Finding Nemo jump back onto that beautiful current that takes you where you need to go. So is every day a flow? It is but sometimes there's a glitch. Sometimes there's that little issue that takes us to places where we are more challenged and we have more experiences which are a little bit more challenging. Do we want them? Not really. Do we have to go through them? Yes, we do. But maybe we can manage it a little bit more. And maybe this little video for a few minutes might just make you think twice when you've had a bad phone call, when somebody's been awful, when, some, when you walk in a crowded um, supermarket or a shopping centre and you keep banging into everybody. What the hell's going on? Why is this happening to me? Well, I experienced that. And I asked that question and I did two things. One, I continued that day and everything was going wrong. And then another day I experienced it and said, okay, sit down for five to 10 minutes and then get back up and see what happens. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I am saying this. It definitely changed my day thousands of times. Have a great day, guys. Love you all. Take care and thank you with all my heart for going to markbyersky.com and buying your authentic crystals, oils, incense, and now teas. I'm on day 123, I think. And I've got to say, I have never felt better in my life. The Parasite Cleanse is 2023, 2024, the most powerful thing you can do for your spiritual path. Don't take my word for it. Try it.